Hi guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today I have decided to um, more like investigate what is going on with my faulty uh, laser 310. I don't know uh, how many of you have watched the previous video, it was just a review and uh, by the time um, I powered uh, this computer up um, all I could get were those garbage and things on the screen um, and my first idea and estimation was that there is something wrong with the RAM uh, chips inside so um, I just uh, felt like um, ordering some uh, 4116s and um, see what happens but in the meantime this picture and exactly this picture this pattern I have seen also um, over a video um, a trying to fix attempt or video uh, I was trying to create for three systems this one a uh, very similar picture to the Dragon 32 and very similar picture to uh, the TRS-80 uh, color computer 2 the Coco 2 very similar p pattern on the screen uh, that gives me the idea that it's not going to be so easy to fix uh, this machine along with the other two machines um, I have uh, here in the lab uh, because it might be uh, something different uh, than the uh, RAM chips uh, themselves so again it was it is um, the same uh, almost the same pattern the same characters the amber sand uh, and everything like uh, very similar to this what uh, I have been facing trying to fix uh, the Dragon and the TRS-80 which uh, reminded me of the laser 310 and I was thinking maybe we should uh, investigate uh, together um, here during this video what is going on and uh, the least I can do is to start with uh, replacing the CPU I check the voltages of course and all the connections reset the um, ICs and all that in our case here today no chip is uh, socketed so resetting is skipped I got crazy power coming from the board uh, and from the chips uh, they get um, 3.15 volts each and the uh, suspect number one again is the regulator so I'm going to change this uh, voltage regulator which has been salvaged and resoldered here the lazy way from somebody previous owner have done something the heatsink gets hot but the output voltage is 315 which is not right um, hopefully this will solve some of our problems and uh, make the I don't know the, the, the ICs uh, to work uh, the way they should be so I'm going to change this um, although they get hot um, you have seen the garbage on the screen so I put some steps here 7805 to be replaced hopefully we've got 5 volts uh, stabilized I'm going to change the um, CPU and put it in a socket then check the video and then last step uh, uh, replace the RAM chips if needed and put the RAM chips into sockets um, and then rewire the keyboard the last thing but this is minor I'm gonna leave this for last so let's start by uh, replacing the uh, regulator this is a something weird here a bridge connection to the ground and from the one of the EPROMs uh, or the ROMs I don't know why is this um, useful at any point and there is another wire come getting on the side going somewhere I hope it is ground as well the quality of the board uh, itself is not the best you could find but it's decent I can see some spider connections diodes um, uh, resistor and capacitor you name it every everything uh, is in, um, in there and this strange um, connection is another ground I don't know why the guy wanted to have so many grounds tied up together um, the EEPROM looks like has been 
uh, resoldered and there is a strange connection here another uh, um, little red wire that probably he managed to um, break some traces and he did the same thing next to the CPU but uh, soldering everywhere um, there was a capacitor right here which I actually felt uh, literally felt uh, in my hand by the time I was trying to flip over the uh, um, the board so let me get rid of these and try to fix the trace and tie it up um, the PCB replace the uh, voltage regulator and then I can uh, replace the CPU and put a socket uh, oh this one is missing a pin um, yeah let me just um, do it one by one tie it up the whole thing uh, that's another one right there um, and see what happens I don't have much uh, hope uh, about the oh by the way the capacitor used to be right here um, I don't uh, have high hopes over uh, the um, CPU replacement and all that um, might be something different I can see that one of the edge connectors and probably the expansion has uh, been heavily used and the other part uh, for the memory expansion uh, was never used um, and here used to be something like I can tell from the holes that there must have been a shield that the previous owner have removed completely so this guy have done quite a few things already I guess he was trying to check what is happening but um, yeah kind of mess things around so here we have the NEC uh, processor equivalent to the Z80 uh, recently removed uh, from the system we can see the keyboard sticker now video technologies inspection um, so here is the empty space waiting for the socket I'm gonna clean it up with uh, isoprop alcohol uh, both sides I mean and um, I'll try to uh, check the continuity uh, and um, get rid of this uh, ugly bridge uh, connection this uh, little cable uh, clean up the, the, the traces and everything and put back the original uh, trace um, or I mean uh, the way it came from the factory and um, put the new uh, Z80 processor in place and see what happens and so we have the um, uh, trace uh, fixed with um, some fresh uh, solder the initial spider connection in place as it used to be and the um, socket is soldered in place uh, I'm gonna pop in the um, Z80 the Zilog type this one I have as a spare not, I'm not gonna throw away yet my um, I mean the old processor I'm gonna check it um, give it a try in my ZX Spectrum and um, but yeah let's first see how this system reacts with the new processor in place okay and in the meantime I have put the capacitor in the power line uh, next to the power in uh, and replace the 7805 and as you can see the moment of truth is disappointing I have the same screen uh, again after replacing the Z80 processor um, and the voltage regulator as well um, well yeah uh, okay uh, I don't know what to say um, now I think um, the next round will be uh, swap of the uh, me memory RAM chips um, but uh, my gut feeling is something is wrong with this machine uh, ROM wise so maybe one of these 8k ROMs um, is failing is damaged um, the temperature of the um, chips 
uh, is okay, warm but not terribly hot. Um, the video chip looks okay. I'm playing now around with a switch which is underneath the PCB and turns supposedly the um, color on and off and turns it the picture to black and white. Uh, but I guess we have output so the video chip, this video chip uh, looks like it's working fine, the CPU is working fine, we got the right voltages so these two ROMs um, might be damaged or one of them, I don't know um, I have to investigate further uh, and it's gonna be a tricky one, it's not gonna be an easy fix, I don't know if these ROMs can be replaced by EPROMs and where I can find uh, the ROM images. Um, the voltage regulator gives us 5 volts uh, steadily and um, what else? Um, I think I have to investigate further if those ROMs can be replaced uh, by um, EPROMs and see what happens. The video chip again looks okay. Last thing I did um, before I put everything back together on the far left uh, side of the PCB there's a couple of uh, variable resistors to fix the image on the screen, the colors and everything so I did just that but of course still faulty um, so I'm guessing the uh, video chip is working after all uh, I can see no point uh, to s start replacing chips around uh, so I'm gonna stop right here um, considering the fact that we have the right voltages um, the right CPU and the video chip working I'm gonna skip um, steps 4 and 5 for now and um, I'm going to seek for advice or help uh, from the gurus um, there is a special uh, Facebook page for VZ200 and VZ300 gurus and um, enthusiasts around this computer maybe they can help me around with that and maybe in the meantime I can sure uh, change the 4116's uh, RAM chips with uh, sockets and everything just to be uh, everything to be ready but I don't believe it's this uh, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have uh, part 3 or part f even 4 uh, following up with this machine until I get more information but in any case thanks for watching guys and um, consider subscribing any help appreciated needless to say um, if you know anything about this system just let me know and uh, apparently I haven't seen the PCB before uh, in some other video on YouTube so this I guess was the first one uh, so limited audience but anyways I'll be looking for help and uh, comments and um, your thumbs up if you like this stuff and uh, sure I'll be catching you soon with another video um, apparently it's gonna be uh, some other system but I will definitely follow up with part uh, 3 and 4 for this one as well Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.